Hi, this is Leah from What's New in Secondary Education, and I'm here to talk about an unconventional method to help you take back your classroom. I've used this method sparingly over 14 years in the classroom to turn chaos into order. Picture this. The school year is humming along, and then all of a sudden, the students have had it. The goals you've helped them set from the beginning become fragmented, and your classroom turns into a three-ring circus. The big picture is out the window, and it's time for you to take back your classroom. There are so many ways you can do this, but my favorite way, because it really grabs the student's attention, is to go on strike. You heard me right, I just said, go on strike. Our students are teenagers, and teenagers take a lot for granted. Like the lessons we work really hard to prepare. When things get out of hand, slow th show them that you value the, those lessons and their learning by going on strike. A word of caution. I have found this method of redirection to be highly effective. It shows the students what class could be like if you didn't plan so hard. But there are caveats. First, use this technique sparingly. And when you do use it, follow these rules. One, have a new seating chart and spread them out as much as you can. Yes, it's a mind game, but one reason they're acting out is because things have become too familiar for them. Shake it up. Do not speak. Whether they let on or not, they really do want your attention. Hand them their assignment sheet at the door, but don't make eye contact. Play Baroque music, such as Handel or Bach. They will complain, but it helps them focus. Only respond to students who are following the rules. Otherwise, no eye contact. Project the new seating chart so that you do not have to verbally communicate it. Here is a sample assignment sheet. Note the directions and the clear stipulations about the appropriate way to seek help. They have to take ownership of their work by checking off on the list and signing a, and signing a statement at the end. This puts the ball in their court. Always be sure to put in place anchor activities for early finishers. I do this by handing students a random mini project task card as they turn in their work. Check out the link where you can get those task cards for free. So the point of all this is that the random chaos that can happen in any classroom starts to shape up and students come to appreciate class as usual. Thank you for spending the past few minutes with me considering one way to bring order out of chaos in the secondary classroom. And be sure to check out the other video blogs and free ebooks with printable with print and use resources from the Tools for Teaching Teens group.